Under the new law, officially called Stop Soros, individuals or groups who help migrants not entitled to protection to submit requests for asylum or who help illegal migrants gain status to stay in Hungary will be liable to prison terms. The Hungarian people rightfully expects the government to use all means necessary to combat illegal immigration and the activities that aid it, Interior Minister Sander Pinter wrote in a justification attached to the draft legislation. The Stop Soros package of bills serves that goal, making the organization of illegal immigration a criminal offense. We want to use the bills to stop Hungary from becoming a country of immigrants, he said. Parliament, where Fides has a two-thirds majority, also passed on Wednesday a constitutional amendment to state that an alien population cannot be settled in Hungary, a swipe at Brussels over its quota plan. Tough stance is vote winner immigration has become a major concern for voters across the European Union, helping to propel anti-migrant populists to power in Italy and Austria and threatening to fracture Merkel's three-month-old coalition in Germany. Orban has drummed up support for his tough measures by exploiting Hungarians' memories of the large numbers of mostly Muslim migrants fleeing conflicts in the Middle East who surged into the country in the summer of 2015. The vast majority of them moved on to wealthier Western European countries, but Orban has branded the migrants a threat to Europe's Christian civilization and built a border fence along Hungary's southern borders to deter more from coming. The Hungarian Helsinki Committee, a rights group that often represents migrants, said on Wednesday the narrowing definition of who counts as a refugee essentially means nobody entering Hungary by land would be entitled to such treatment. Instead of giving protection against persecution, the Hungarian government has decided to join the ranks of the persecutors, Helsinki Committee co-chair Marta Pardavi said. The Orban government expects possible legal action by the European Commission, the EU's executive arm, over the new law. Two leading European rights bodies, the Council of Europe and the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe, OSCE, have criticized Hungary's new law as arbitrary and vague and said it contravenes European law. Orban has also tightened state control over the media, major business sectors and the courts since taking power in 2010.